Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the index summary calculation in a pivot table. So if you're familiar with pivot tables, or in other words, across tabs, what they do is they give you the ability to analyze data in a matrix kind of scenario. So let's say, for example, I have a sheet uh, range of data. Uh, this is probably um, sales of uh, different exercise products uh, with different exercise methods. So we have um, email marketing, uh, pop-up ads, search engine marketing. So we put that into a pivot table here. I'm going to go back to the pivot table here. And we look at our data and see, oh, what is our revenue uh, for each of these different type of marketing tactics for our products? Now you might want to think, let's kind of center on this pop-up ads. You might want to think, oh, uh, we have a little bit over $7,000 uh, in revenue for pop-up ads for these exercise bands. So that must be pretty good. So what we might want to consider is uh, what are the uh, relative impacts of price changes uh, to this particular uh, to these particular type of products in this uh, type of marketing. And you might want to think, oh, you know, since I have such a high revenue here, uh, any change in the revenue, maybe like 10% or 15%, it would change this. And basically, uh, since this is the, high, the highest dollar amount, it will have the most impact. That might not necessarily be true because uh, relative to the other products in the, the whole scheme of things, it might not be the case because um, if we took a, a weighted average of these particular items uh, across the total, that um, will show differently. So what we want to do is we want to see the index of it. So, so it's going to give us something of a weighted average of this value. So in order to find the index, what you need to do is just go ahead and click anywhere within the data portion of the pivot table. Well, let, let me go ahead and just kind of start this out fresh. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this and we'll show you how to create this pivot table. I'm going to select uh, this range of cells, right click, and go under delete. Right? So I'm in sheet two. Let me go ahead and take this data. This is a range of data. Go under insert, go to the pivot table, and I'm going to go ahead and click on existing worksheet. Location will be this worksheet here. Let me just put it over here in A3. Uh, click OK. And I'm just going to fill it out here. We'll have my products in the row. We have my advertisements uh, for my column. And we have the revenue. I'm going to put that into value. So we had this earlier before. Let me go ahead and just put this in dollar amounts. Right click, go under number format, and uh, currency, two decimal places. That's OK. Click OK. And what we have is our data that we had earlier, right? So as I mentioned before, uh, if we wanted to focus on pop-up ads, what we notice is uh, for exercise bands, that's the highest. So we would think um, that is vis-a-vis -vis our other products here. Uh, this will probably have the most impact um, based on the pop-up ads. But if we wanted to look at the index, let me go ahead and write. Let me go ahead and just copy this table. Uh, Control C to copy bring it down here, control V to paste. And what I'm going to do is just select anywhere within this table, right click, right click, and oops, let me go ahead and right click and go under show values. And very at the very bottom, we have index. You notice that there's a lot of different types of um, uh, value settings that we can do, uh, uh, percentage of grand total, percentage row total. But here at the very bottom is the index. So if I click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to give me the uh, basically a weighted average uh, of this particular cell value based on the grant multiplied by the grand total uh, divided by the uh, row total and the column total the product of the row total and the column total let me go ahead and put this in a little bit uh, of an easier format to look at uh, let me go ahead and just right click go under normal f number format and I'm just going to have a two decimal places. Click OK. Click OK. So you'll notice the grand totals, they should always equal one uh, for the grand totals for each of the columns and each of the rows. Now, the way that this gets calculated is basically, as I mentioned before, it's the, the value of the cell uh, times the grand total uh, divided by the product of the grand total of the column and the grand total of the row. So uh, this is the formula. Let me go ahead and close this here. This is the formula here. And this is what it's calculating. So if I took the example of uh, this value here, let me go ahead and say uh, equals the cell value, uh, cell C5, C5 times the grand total, which is E5, E5, right? So that's that value there. And then 
the row total times the column total. Oops, this is going to be the grand total. That's going to be uh, E9. Let me go ahead and do E9 there. And this is going to be the row total times the column totals. So we have our row total, which is uh, E5. E5. Multiply that by the column total here is C9. C9. All right, C9 equals. And now we just need to go ahead and equals uh, this divided by uh, that. And so that should equal 1.01, .01, right? So now we have that where it equals 1.01, .01, which is our value here, 1.01, .01, right? So that's, that's how it gets calculated for each of these cells. So how do we want to use this type of uh, data for our analysis, our, our index summary? So basically what we're, what we're saying here, it has, helps us answer the question of if we increase our revenue, uh, let's say, for example, we look back and we focus on pop-up ads. If we increase our revenue of pop-up ads, maybe 10, 15 percent, you think I get my most bang for my buck at my exercise band. That, that probably provide the most uh, value for me because this is, has the higher do highest dollar amount. But as we look down here, the, the, in terms of a increase in our revenue under this pop-up ad marketing or this marketing scheme, the impact would be most pronounced with the nutrition bar because the index value is 1.17. So let's see how that actually works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this particular set of data, control C to copy. I'm just going to overwrite this area, uh, control V to paste, right? And I'm just going to paste the values because I pasted this, uh, this, this pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and just paste the value here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and auto fit these columns, select that double click here and it auto fits it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look at my pop-up ads in my source data here and just multiply everything by 10%. So let me go ahead and sheet here. I'm going to go ahead and select pop-up ads, right? And it, and it, it provided all my revenue for the pop-up ads. I'm going to go ahead and put 10% uh, here. Actually, I'm, let me just do 15%. Let's say, let's say uh, my revenue went up 15%. So 1.15, and what I'm going to do is take this, Control C to copy, select everything here in my revenue for the pop-up ad since that's filtered, uh, Control Shift down arrow, and I'm going to just go ahead and um, press the Alt semicolon key, so it's just going to select those cells. So uh, I copy that. I'm going to go ahead and I already press Control C to copy that. You can see the uh, the um, the marquee here that's going around. Go under Paste and go go to Paste Special. And I'm, what I'm going to do is click Multiply. So what it's going to do is I copy that. It's going to paste this value in here. But before it does that, it's going to multiply this value, uh, multiply by the values here. So basically, it's doing math when you do a copy and paste. Let me go ahead and click OK. And now you notice everything here has changed. It's been increased 15%. So once that's done, let me go back into the sheet here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click refresh. So the only values that should change is everything here in the pop-up ads uh, plus the total and also the grand total here um, as each uh, uh, each product it changes with their pop-up ads. So, all right. so let me go ahead and right click and select refresh and now you notice the values have changed. Our, our totals here have changed. Of course you look at this value here uh, and these are changed. The other ones shouldn't have changed. We still have 15473 here uh, we have it over here, and the other value is the same, right? So now we're going to look at these values. We see that, oh, well, the exercise band it went up to $8,000, and we thought, okay, that's that probably has the most impact. But that may not be the case because in terms of the uh, relative impact, that should have the most impact, right? So what we can do here is we can take a look at the grand totals uh, for each particular um, product and see which one increased the most. So then I'm going to have equals uh, this value, E5, E5, and then divided by uh, this value, right? Press enter. Let me go ahead and, uh, oh, it turned that into a dollar sign. Let's not do currency here. Let's just do numbers. Let me go ahead and uh, bring that down. Uh, I forgot one thing. Let's go ahead minus one because I want to get the percentage. Let me go ahead and put that in the percent for uh, parentheses, uh, control enter to stay in that cell. Let me go ahead and double click the fill handle to bring it down and put this into percentage here and kind of move it up. So what we notice here is uh, this particular value, it changed 5% for my exercise bands, but the nutrition uh, bars, it actually increased the most, 5.86%, because, of course, that index value was greater. So that particular change, any changes in pricing, 
any changes in revenue here had the most impact for the nutrition bar, even though dollar-wise it had a it had a dollar increase for uh, exercise band. But in terms of the relative impact, uh, it had the most impact on the nutrition bar, right? Because the index value was 1.16. So that's the way that you can think about uh, the index summary calculation and pivot table. It gives you the relative impact of any changes in your values. So we see that we had an index here that was greater than here, even though the dollar amount is less, but the relative impact changes are greater. So it just gives you an extra uh, detailed analysis for your pivot tables. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.